Hey guys, my name is Steve Kim and I'm going to you guys our motorized version of the Lego Batman movie, The Batwing. And, yeah, so here we have the Batwing. As you saw, this part here could spin. You guys didn't make it go fast enough, and then the lights could turn on right back there. So, I think this is a pretty cool motorization build. Um, I've got the bat go kart kind of thing here. Um, obviously, since this is motorized, it can't fit in the back. I just take these off so I can show you. Um, the back here just has a bunch of gears in there, so the little back go kart can't fit. But you can still have Robin riding in it, and I think it's a pretty cool build. So overall, I think the Batwing is a pretty cool build. And if you want to motorize it yourself, here will be. Um, the tutorial on how to have it. Here are all the extra pieces that we will be needing to build um, the motorized version of the Batwing. And yeah, so it's a pretty big build, so I might have to split it up in the sections. But so far, uh, yeah, so let's start. I'm just gonna get all these out of the way. So we're gonna start by putting in the battery box. So, um, here we have the Batwing, and basically what we're gonna do, um, see at the back here, we're gonna take off these panels. Like that, and then we're gonna um, rip out the top of the wings, just like that. So we only have that part left over, just so that it's way easier to work with um, what we have here. Oh, sorry about that. Just, so it should just look like this so far. And now that we have that ripped off, it's a lot easier to take out the top. And then we'll be working a bit with the top after. So, for now, let's just place in the battery box. So, that's about as much of the top as you're going to need to rip off. We might get some more later. So, of course, we're going to take off these sides here. So, just take those out. There we go. Just like that. And then, we're first going to work with... Um, Actually, no, we'll do that later because it has to do with the receiver. So we've got to um, take out this 2x3 and then these parts here. Um, but don't break these parts out because we're going to use them later. And then this entire cockpit part, we're basically just going to rip out of um, where it's supposed to be. So you basically um, should have the, this entire cockpit part all in one piece, just like that, because um, n almost none of this um, will be split apart. We're just going to have to take off two of these pieces later. Um, anyways, so at the front here, this is actually where we're going to put the receiver later, but obviously if you don't want to put in the receiver, you would sort of try to build back the co cockpit and Batman can, can actually sit in there. But we're going to take out this part where Robin usually sits. And then just take out these panels at the top, and then we could take out this two by four, just like that, so that we could <clears throat> take. Okay, if we could take it off like that, or I might need to really. Do it. Okay, there we go. And then we could take out this part right there. And then we gotta make sure the battery box really fits in there. So we're just gonna keep taking more parts out. Just like that. Um, and I think that might actually be good. Depends. No, nope, we still need to take out some more parts. So what's better to do in this situation is we're probably just going to rip the entire thing apart. So first of all, we're going to want to take out this. So I'm just going to... Um, kind of like unplug out all these pieces here and then you're going to want to do that on the other side too so you're going to have to take out um, quite a few of these panels here so let's take out those take this thing out and don't worry because everything I destroy um, will be rebuilt so don't worry if you're destroying all this stuff we'll obviously rebuild it or else it won't look much like the bat one so once we take out all these we could take out kind of um, take out actually this entire part so that it's easier to um, unplug, sort of kind of unplug these parts here. And 
yeah, so there you go. It should end up kind of like that, and then you could kind of work in here and take out everything we don't need. So that will probably be everything over there. And then we just place in um, two of these plates here, plus this one. And then on top of there we could put the battery box. Just, I think we should, I think we're going to put it right here. I think that's where I put it before. So that's where the battery box is going to go. Once you put that on, remember how I said keep these pieces? So what you're going to want to do with them is basically place them right there. And that should be perfect. So they align with that. And now um, we can basically attach back these sides here. So just like that and like that. And we still, you can see, we still have a bit of area in here. So that will actually be for the receiver um, to be put into. Um, so yeah, that's why that extra space is there, just in case you were wondering about that. And yeah, so um, what we might actually do next is, well, since we got the battery box in, we can kind of start to build up the back. Actually, first we'll put in the motor, so I'll show you how to do that. Motor. Basically, just take out all these parts here, and then you have to take out all five of these pieces, and we're not going to need those later in the build at all. There we go. So at the bottom there, we're actually going to place, where is it? Um, it's going to be a 2x6 black plate. This comes with the um, build, so you're not going to need um, extra one of those. And then on top, we're just going to place these um, one by sixes just like that and then after that we're gonna place on oh, these parts that we took off make sure to take off these um, slanted parts there and we're not we're not gonna need those so just take off everything here and do it like that and this is where the motor is gonna go so I have the motor here and we're gonna attach the gear, this is actually the gear that I use for um, most of the um, motorizations I put straight onto the motor. It's going to be this gear, and we're going to tax it with a two long axle. Now I had one here. Um, so I'm just going to find the two axle I had. Um, can't seem to find it right now. Oh, here we go. It was under the, you know. So, there you go. You attach that on there. And then, put this onto there. Actually, I just remembered something. We're going to have to move the battery ba box back one. Because I remember it was right here before. And then, obviously, we're going to have to switch these around. Um, if we want access to the, this part of it, so, okay, I'm not sure why this isn't working, maybe I did just leave it like this before, I don't know, I don't think it makes much of a difference anyways, um, but yeah, so, I was going to leave it like that, as you can see there, um, and then, we're just going to put the panels back on, sorry about that. Um, okay, anyways. So now that we have the motor in, I'll just get into the kind of gear system we're going to use and attach the